Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see about MATLAB implementation of work and relay. Thanks for watching our videos. Kindly subscribe to our channel and also click the bell icon for a notification about upcoming videos. Straight away I am going to explain concept of work and relay so how, how how we can implement that work and relay in the matlab so i'm going to explain single model so here we need to measure three phase current ia ec so each line will be connected with the, the work and relay right so i'm going to open this one so this is the implementation of this work current relay so in order to implement this work and relay, we have to use the RMS measurement and then uh, different switch elements. Okay. And also you have to use integrator initially for so switching up that uh, work and relay operation. So this uh, this switch okay. This two switch used to for uh, checking the work current settings. Okay, here the work current settings here I meant here used here 40 amps. Okay, so the maximum work current setting um, beyond that uh, current setting. Okay, that be any fault occurs, the current will be reaches uh, reaches beyond this uh, limit that in 40 amps. So if the current reaches beyond that 40 amps, automatically are really going to be open the circuit breaker okay so further you have to use the different uh, switch case in order to open that uh, circuit breaker so initially you can see that we have to measure that uh, current of the any line okay and then you have to find out the rms value so this rms value going to be checked with condition so here i am using that uh, work current settings 40 amps whether is greater than 40 or not okay so as per for example is under normal condition this current will be not not beyond that 40 amps is less than 40 amps okay so during that condition that mean this in this condition the condition is false okay so then output will be here equal to zero now output output of integrate also here zero okay and then you can see that here also same thing i'm going to apply that means we have to compare with the work current setting 40 so because of here zero right condition is false that means it allow output equal to one right that means this one will be taken from here because of the fault false condition that means this one is going to be operate the that means uh, close the circuit breaker because it's operation under normal condition okay if suppose the fault will be occur in this system okay align to ground or uh, three phase to three phase to ground fault okay and the current limit will be goes beyond 40 amps so condition here we need to check here so if is greater than 40 means and the same current will be allow here that means uh, the current will be same current will be the condition true same current will be follow here and then this process over integrator right this, because of integration it will take some time to reach the value right it will take time time okay so after integrator also reaches above that uh, work current setting okay the condition will be true then it allow this signal zero signal via here so to open that circuit breaker okay so this is a working of this uh, work current relay and also here we here are using reset right okay so when you want to uh, uh, the systems come back to the normal then you need to reset that uh, integrator right 
after some time okay so this is the working of this over current relay here and also we implemented and some pause system okay so here you can see that uh, the diagram okay so this such system is implemented in the simulating model right so they have uh, different sources right uh, this is going to be considered as grid and then here they have one generator here one generator here so there are three loads load one and load two and load three here and then it has three buses right bus one and bus two and bus three and then they are using an nearly 10 relays 1 2 3 4 and then um, 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 okay so totally 10 work and relay you can use here not to operate the system and also you can see that here they are uh, created fault here they are three phase fault is created here and then here they created three phase as well as a single phase ground fault so in this line they created single line to ground fault so in this point they created single line to ground fault okay and then uh, this grid source values uh, once again yeah the grid voltage is the 33 kilo volt with the rating of 20 mea and generator rating will be 33 kilo volt rating of 4 MBA and generated to rating with 33 kilo 4 MBA and then load 1 2 3 so 2 MBA 3 MBA and 4 MBA okay so this rating of the system the same system is implemented in the MATLAB okay so this is a uh, that uh, grid 33 kilo volt 20 MBA and then so this is generator e plant generator so here also 33 kilo volt 4 mva and then here load is connected this load value is 3 mva and then here another generator e plant generator 33 kilo volt 4 mva so here we connected another load load rating is 2 mva so this is another load load rating is 4 mp okay and then here you can see that so this will be bus 1 so this is a bus 2 and this is bus 3 3 okay so here we are implementing that work current relay and then circuit breaker so we are also we are implementing work current relay and circuit breaker so so each line have that uh, or current relay so this are the work current relay with the circuit breaker okay and also load also having work current relay with the circuit breaker so here also we have that work current relay with the circuit breaker okay and uh, the fault is created here so here the fault is uh, th three phase to ground fault created here so here uh, uh, three phase to ground fault created as well as a single phase to ground fault is created at the time of one second and in this line uh, single phase to ground fault created and then uh, so here in this load we have created single line to ground fault okay so first we have to check the operation of operation will be one <coughs> so now i'm going to enable this one three phase to ground fault in this line so because of the line fault will be occur at one second right so after one second this circuit breaker and then this circuit breaker should be open right because of the fault okay so you have to check that uh, condition now so i'm going to open 
scope window here that main current scope this one and then i'm going to open this current scope okay and then i'm going to submit this so here you can see the logic of that uh, output of that uh, work and relay if it is one means the breaker will be close position if it is zero means the breaker will be disconnected because of disconnection of this circuit breaker the current flowing through this line will be equal to zero so we will check that operation now the part will be occur at the time of one second so now current is normal right here you can see that so normal current is flow through the line so after one second you will see that uh, the change in current yeah now you can see that because of this okay now you can see that the breaker that that mean over power can relay provide a trip sign uh, trip signal to the breaker so it will be open here and also you can check here it generate zero signal to open the circuit breaker because of this opening you can see that current flowing through this line will be zero and this line will be zero okay here you can see that so once I simulate this model, during normal operation, here you can see that the work and relay provide a signal to close that breaker that will operate at not normal condition. After a fault occur, you can check the variation of the term output signal. Right. Here now you can see that the output will be zero because of zero that this breaker this breaker will be open so now we can see that the current through this line will be zero okay so this is the operation of the work and relay because of this fault it's the same way i am going to check another fault here that means same so this is three phase to ground fault i am going to enable line to ground fault here okay, because of line to ground fault during line to ground fault also this breaker and this breaker should be open right so once again i'm open this panel window okay i'm going to see it so initially you will see that the from work and relay the signal will be one the breaker will be in closed position okay the fault will be occur at the one second that means single line to ground fault yeah because of fault the current will be increases after some time the work and relay provide zero signal to open that to circuit breaker okay now we can see that breaker will be open because of that the current flow through that line will be zero so this is condition one in this line so same way we have to check this line also here uh, three base to ground fault is created brilliant to blend to ground okay so because of this fault this breaker and this breaker should be open okay so here i'm going to open this two current signal okay Now you can see that the breaker that when power current relay provide a signal to close the breaker. So here you can see that system will be operated under normal condition. At time of one second, the fault will be created. Because of fault, the current will be increases. 
So after some time, okay, that means work and relay will be operated to close the circuit breaker. So because of closing of this, that means control signal will be zero to close the, to open the circuit breaker. Because of the opening of circuit breaker, so you can see that the current flowing through that line will be equal to zero. Okay. So here also the work and relay work fine. So next you have to test this fine. So here we are implemented a single line to ground fault. So after fault, this breaker and this breaker should be open. Okay. So we we'll check that one. So I am going to open that this current drive this one and then i'm going to open this current i'm going to check the status so here initially that i to i signal will be generated to close the circuit breaker under normal condition so you can see that system will be operated normal after once again the fault will be created right because of that uh, yeah the breaker will be open that means uh, act low signal is generated to open that circuit breaker here and then open the circuit breaker here, right so because of that opening of that uh, circuit breaker you can see that current flow flowing through that uh, line will be equal to zero okay so here also the work and relay work well okay next here i'm going to, i'm going to command out this one and then i'm command this one so fault will be created low side right so then this load will be disconnected from the system could be disconnected right so this breaker should be open after fault right you need to check the details so i'm going to open this one now you can see that control signal so high to high signal is given to the breaker so that means the breaker will be in closed position Fault is fault is occur. After some time, the active low signal will be generated from the two or control line. So for opening the for the circuit breaker, okay. So load will be disconnected from the system. So you can see that the current through current for this load will be equal to zero because of disconnection. Okay. So for all fault condition, the work and relay work fine, right? Thank you, thank you for watching our videos. Kindly subscribe our channel. Thank you so much.